All right, so to take off the back plate, it's really easy. Just look for one of the seams right here and then just get a fingernail underneath and it just pops right up and pull it off just like that. And to put it back on, same deal, make sure Apollo is facing the proper direction. Put the USB connector through, press down, press down, and you should feel it click into place. All right, so if you flip your MTR over, uh, you'll see here, this is the, what you'll see if you did not pay for the one with the CO2 sensor. Um, and it's the same sort of mezzanine connector right here, and it's got the X. So if you were to get one, uh, a CO2 sensor separately, it would be just as easy. You look for the X right there in the corner, and you would line it up with the X on the PCB, and just push it. It fits together just like a little Lego. Now, if you ever should be in a position where you need to replace the millimeter wave module or reseat it, it's pretty easy to pull off. You just gently pull from the top here and it slides out. Those little pins, you can see, they fit in those eight little holes so they just line up. And then you just push them in. That is it. You just make sure that it's nice and snug. Okay, so once you have your MTR disassembled, you're going to take your male USB-C uh, and you're going to take a look very closely here. There is an X by the mezzanine connector and there's an X on the USB connector as well right here. That way you know which way it's supposed to go. So you're going to want to line these up so that they're facing the same direction. And then you're going to feel them kind of fit together and just gently push. And there you go. Easy as that. Then you'll just slide it back into the casing. And that's all there is to it.